Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Apa khabar semua? Okay. So, uh, pada video kali ini, okay, I will tell about on the example 2, okay, uh, on the design check. Okay, before this, in first example, okay, we have to design, okay, our beam, rectangular beam. So, in this question, we are given the B and D value, 250 and 500 and also all the uh, material strength. Okay, the concrete and also the steel and also the bending moment, uh, bending moment. So, uh, at last, for the answer, we have AS equal to 905. Okay, and then uh, we want to propose, okay, we propose the 3, 3H20. So, the AS is uh, bigger than uh, the answer, 943. Okay, so for this task, okay, we are need uh, to do, to determine the moment of resistance. Okay, to design check whether uh, the design we produce is enough or not stable. Alright. So, uh, assuming, okay, for the first example, uh, we just know the material, okay, we just have concrete and then uh, we just uh, assume that uh, we will use reinforced, uh, reinforced steel, okay, steel reinforcement, okay, at this side, okay, but we didn't know yet whether we will use single or double, so by doing the comparison with the M balance, then we decide for single rectangular reinforcement. Okay, so uh, after we design, we have the AS and then we apply and we implement our steel reinforcement. So our beam can uh, cater the moment. Okay, so there is a reaction here. Okay, this is the FC. Okay, this is the FC, which is the force for concrete in compression okay because we have the uh, concrete material and then at the bottom side okay this is at the middle of the uh, steel reinforcement we have the FST okay, FST is force for steel in tension okay tension side okay at the bottom part okay at the upper part we have the compression at the bottom part we have the tension so uh, you can refer to page uh, 32 okay uh, telling about the internal forces okay internal forces internal forces which is FCC and also FST okay uh, reacting here and this is the Z of level up okay force which is internal force for concrete in compression is this is the equation and this is the uh, for steel in tension okay we just apply the the equation but we have the one unknown which is x okay 0 0.567 fck is given okay uh, 0 0.8 x and b is given which is 250 and then FST we calculate we have 0 0.87 FYK given AS also given okay we have the answer okay because this is the reaction here at this side and this is the reaction at this side so our structure must be in equilibrium okay we need to equilibrium the forces so FCC equal to FST Okay, so we can have the X value. Okay, so by using this X value, okay, so we are uh, comparing with the 0.61D. Okay, X is equal to the uh, neutral axis. Okay, neutral axis. This one, this is X. So, say, so this is the natural axis distance. Okay, so uh, comparing, okay, below that 309, which is 0 0.617D. 
okay for balance structure balance structure will uh, we need 0.617d okay what if x is above the 309 okay we still need to use the maximum one we, uh, either uh, even the value if 400 okay we will proceed with 309 okay because it is exceeding the 0.617d okay so uh, by this uh, equation uh, we assume that the steel has yielded as assumed so we're going to use this x value okay to calculate the z okay z here okay the level up ataupun kita panggil sebagai lengan okay because uh, in analysis structure uh, we have uh, to calculate the total moment is the force we are times the jarak kan the distance okay so we're gonna calculate the distance we call it as level arm so uh, z equals to d minus 0 0.4 x we use the x value from above okay d we just use the value given okay and then we have the z value okay lastly we want to check the moment of resistance okay we have two moment of resistance first is uh, respecting to steel and second is respecting to concrete okay so uh, we will use moment resistance respecting to concrete okay because our concrete is enough uh, is strong enough so that we're gonna use the uh, FST okay we want to check whether uh, the steel is strong enough the area is strong enough or not to cater the moment okay FST dot Z okay 0 0.87 FYK we uh, insert 500 KAS is as uh, the proposed value here 943 Okay, even uh, the answer is we have 905. So, we we insert the 943 because this is the uh, area that we propose. And this is 442.2 mm and uh, times 10 to the power of negative 6. Okay, this is because of the uh, conversion of unit. Okay, this is uh, in meter. So, we have the 1. 81 kilonewton meter all right do you understand Be before this we design we make a design and this for this task we was we just want to check the design whether it is suitable strong enough uh, to cater the load okay uh, in question in the question in question one okay the bending moment is 175 175 here but in question two the design check the moment we have is 181 kenapa tak sama dengan 175 okay because okay in example one we have the s is 905 okay if we use this a here here 905 then we get the 175 we got 181 kilonewton meter because we use this value 943 okay the proposed uh, steel reinforcement area the new one okay so that's why the value is not same but still considerable okay this is the exact uh, area but we propose the slight bigger than the original that's why it's different okay so uh, by this this answer so we can prove that our design check is safe all right Okay, uh, but do you notice, 
okay if you want to design a single reinforcement uh, rectangular beam okay we decide to uh, just use a single reinforcement okay because uh, our moment is uh, strong enough okay but my question is why we want to place our reinforcement at the bottom part okay at the bottom part why not we place it here okay this this one uh, nothing here why so our new beam is like this okay we, we have the rectangular beam so this is the uh, steel reinforcement okay and this just uh, kosong lah tak ada apa why why we need to place at the bottom part first compared to the upper part first okay what is the answer okay the answer is at the, at the upper part okay concrete is very strong in compression but they have a weakness in tension do you remember so that's why we're gonna put the steel reinforcement at the bottom part because at the bottom part okay uh, they will have a tension here and steel is very strong in tension but weak in compression so concrete will cover the compression and the steel will cover the tension all right see you later in another video okay stay safe guys assalamualaikum selamat sejahtera